His Excellency the Vice President of Kenya, Honorable Stephen Kalonzo Musioka, met Kenyans in East London over the weekend. On his Meet the People tour, His Excellency and his entourage joined worshippers at one of the main Kenyan-led churches in London, the Revival House. He started by observing one-minute silence as his visit coincided with Remembrance Day, observed in Commonwealth countries since the end of World War I to remember the members of the armed forces who have died in line of duty. On this regard, he explained present tough missions undertaken by the Kenyan army in Somalia. But I'm sure you do know, as Kenyans, that our, our men and women in uniform have crossed our common border into Somalia. I want to ask that you pray for victory, very specifically, because it is not a victory against Somalia. It is a victory against the ideology of death that is being perpetrated by extremist elements who unfortunately have been evident in our own country. The senior pastor Boniface Bogwa insisted the need for agape love, which is going to lead Kenya through the 2012 elections. This message was echoed by the young Kenyan children sending their message of love to the vice president. The vice president was taken to an East End Kenyan joint where he was treated to the usual Kenyan food. He was surprised to see that Kenyan Londoners eat the same food as those back home, as credit to the driving export of foodstuff from Kenya. The entourage then headed to the main venue where Kenyans assembled to listen to the vice president's speech. Before his speech, those accompanying vice president from Kenya gave their message. We are all one. We are all one. We all belong to a country called Kenya. Whether you are here, whether you are in Alaska, wherever a Kenyan is, we are all one. I understand the uncle you people go through here. I know what it means to make a thousand pound in the UK. I know what it means to make a thousand dollar in America. To me, the diaspora is a ministry by itself. You have your relatives in Kenya. You have your feet in Kenya. But what I want to ask to tell you, do not ask, what can Kenya do for me? But you must say, what can I do for Kenya? You people have the ability, the power of the ballot, to actually change the destiny of Kenya. You have been elected for those many times. You can say anything you want. Lakini wahenga walinena wakasema. Jungu kuu, harikosi nini? Ukoko. Na furaha yangu ni kwamba mwelekeo wa kazi kule ndani ni ule ambao Kenya inastahili kuwa nao. Na kwa hivyo, anapo shugulikia mambo ya kurudisha mani Kenya naona hapo ni sawa. Napo shugulikia marejeano Kenya, makabila yote kuishi pamoja, kama taifa moja, naona hapo ni, ni sawa. Nyi kama wa Kenya, amjaweza kuona machafuko na macho yenu. Wengu wenu, mwaka elfumbili na saba mulikuwa hapa. Na nyi mulikuwa tu, munasikia Kenya ilikuwa inawaka moto. His Excellency the Vice President, the Wiper as he called himself, eloquently and confidently addressed Kenyans, explaining that he is on an intense consultation and engagement process with the diaspora. I chose to make this announcement before you, ladies and gentlemen. It's very significant. Of course, you'll be hearing improved announcements along those lines. And one of the things that I want us to do is to consider opening um, an alliance office here in London. And we, we mean business, we know the terrain, we have the commitment, we have the experience, we have the know-how, and we have the support of the Kenyan people. And of course, with God being on our side, who can afford to be against us? 
His Excellency, the High Commission to the UK, Ephraim Gary, in his address, highlighted the importance of Kenyans abroad considering themselves as frontline ambassadors. Uh, as far as the diaspora are concerned, I believe they are all aware that they, here in the United Kingdom, they represent the best face of Kenya. They represent the best face of Kenya. They are our frontline goodwill ambassadors. Diaspora speeches included those of Councillor Elizabeth Kangede, Mrs. Mabel Mark, and the chief organizer of the vice president meeting, Mr. Frank Karanja. I did not know that I had so many Kenyans who believe in what I believe. That Kenya needs a leader who has got the expertise, the knowledge, integrity, who has been in the game for so long. So I believe that if our leaders provide a way, we shall live a country at peace and at ease with itself, and where every Kenyan shall have access to opportunities for progress, prosperity, and the freedom that every child of God is called to enjoy. All the speakers for the night echoed the need for national unity, especially during the campaign and election seasons. Kenyans must celebrate their unique identity while appreciating the rich, vibrant multiculturalism that Kenya exhibits. Kenya, the place I call home. From east to west lays the white beaches of the Indian Ocean, to the steep and snow-capped summit of Mount Kenya, across the Great Rift Valley, down to the largest tropical lake in the world, oh yes, the beautiful Lake Victoria. Kenya, a unique and diverse nation. As I walk through the streets of Nairobi, I hear, Wemwega, Edemwega. I take a few, few footsteps and I hear, Wacha, Ah, Wacha Inge, Ah. I take a corner and I hear, Adinade, Adimaber, yeah? I cross the street and I hear shouting from the back. I hear, Ero Soba. <laughs> Bantus, Nilots, Kushites equal a miscellaneous nation full of beauties, breathtakings, the place I call home. As we stand united, I pray that peace and love reign over my beautiful and beloved country, Kenya, the place I call home. Thank you.